Well guys, welcome to the channel. Thought I'd do another quick video for you guys. Um I may do a word. Um, I'm just looking, I'm just looking to see what word to do for you guys. Um Mark, let me see. Or should I do Exodus? I might go back to Exodus, maybe, I don't know. Jesus before Pilate. Oh god, that's um it's a heavy one. <laughs> Jesus is deaf, so I think I'll skip that for tonight. It's a bit heavy what I read earlier as for you guys, so I don't fancy reading nothing any more heavy. Um so um let me see where I got up to um books in that store I remember doing that. God promises deliverance. Where did I get up to? Um, oh. I think I read chapter 7 last, if I remember right there. I think so. I think I read chapter 7 last, so I think I'm on chapter 8, A Plague of Frogs. Um, I could be wrong guys, if I'm wrong I apologise, um, but yeah I'm going to read chapter 8, I'll have to go, if I miss chapter 7 out, I'll have to go over chapter 7 another time, um, but yeah, um, I don't know if I've read chapter 6 even actually, hmm, I don't know if I've read chapter 6. I may have to go over chapter 6 and 7 another time, guys. Um, I may have to. Um, if I haven't gone over it already, I may, I, may have, I may have gone over chapter 6. I'm not sure. But chapter 7, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I have, maybe I haven't. I'm not sure. But we'll go from chapter 8 anyway, and I can always go over chapter 7 or 6 if I've missed them out. Um, so yeah, let's just go straight into it. Um, Exodus chapter 8, um, the plague of frogs. Seven days passed after the Lord struck the Nile. Then the Lord said to Moses, go to Pharaoh and say to him, this is what the Lord says, let my people go, so that the so that they may worship me. If you refuse to let them go, I will send a plague of frogs on your whole country. The Nile will teem with frogs. They will come up into your palace and your bedroom and onto your bed, into the houses of your officials and on your people, and into your ovens and kneading troughs. The frogs will come upon you and your people and all your officials. Then the Lord said to Moses, Tell Aaron, stretch out your hand of your staff over the streams and canals and ponds and make frogs come upon the land of Egypt. So Aaron stretched out his hand over the waters of Egypt and the frogs came up and covered the land. But the magicians did the same things with the, by their secret arts. They also made frogs come up on the land of Egypt. Pharaoh summoned Moses and Aaron and said, Pray to the Lord to take the frogs away from me and my people, and I will let your people go to offer sacrifices to the Lord. Moses said to Pharaoh, I leave to you the honour of setting the time for me to pray for you and your officials and your people that you and your houses may be rid of the frogs, except for those that remain in the Nile. Tomorrow Pharaoh said, Moses replied, it will be as you say. 
Tomorrow, Pharaoh said, Moses replied, as it will be as you say, so that you know there is no one like the Lord our God. The frogs will leave you and your houses, your officials and your people, they will remain only in the Nile. After Moses and Aaron left Pharaoh, Moses cried out to the Lord about the frogs he had brought on Pharaoh. And the Lord did what Moses asked, the frogs died in the houses. In the courtyards and in the fields, they were piled into heaps, and the land reeked of them. But when Pharaoh saw that there was relief, he hardened his heart and would not listen to Moses and Aaron, just as the Lord had said. The plague of gnats. Then the Lord said to Moses, Tell Aaron, stretch out your staff and strike the dust of the ground, and throughout the land of Egypt the dust will become gnats. They did this, and then Aaron stretched out his hand with the staff and struck the dust of the ground, gnats came on people and animals, all the dust throughout the land of Egypt became gnats, but when the magicians tried to produce gnats by the secret arts, they could not. Since the gnats were on people and animals everywhere, the magician said to Pharaoh, this is the finger of God, but Pharaoh's heart was hard, and he said, "And but Pharaoh's heart was hard and he would not listen, just as the Lord had said. Plague of flies, then the Lord said to Moses, get up early in the morning and confront Pharaoh as he goes to the river and say to him, this is what the Lord says, let my people go so that they may worship me. If you do not let my people go, I will send swarms of flies on you and your officials, on your people and into your houses. The houses of the Egyptians will be full of flies. Even the ground will be covered with them. But... On that day I will deal differently with the land of Goshen. When my people live, no swarms of flies will be there, so that you will know that I, the Lord, am in this land. I will make a distinction between my people and your people. This sign, this sign will occur tomorrow. And the Lord did this, then swarms of flies poured into Pharaoh's palace and into the houses of his officials. Throughout Egypt, the land was ruined by, by the flies. Then Pharaoh summoned Moses and Aaron and said, Go sacrifice to your God here in the land. But Moses said that would not be right. But Moses said that would not be right. The sacrifices we offer the Lord our God would be detestable to the Egyptians. And if we offer sacrifices that are detestable in their eyes, will they not stone us? We must take a three-day journey into the wilderness to offer sacrifices to the Lord our God, as he commands us. Pharaoh said, I will let you go to offer sacrifices to the Lord your God in the wilderness, but you must not go very far. Now pray for me. Moses answered, as soon as I leave you, I will pray to the Lord, and tomorrow the flies will leave Pharaoh and his officials and his people. Only let Pharaoh be sure that he does that he does not act deceitfully again by not letting the people go to offer sacrifices to the Lord. Then Moses left Pharaoh and prayed to the Lord. And the Lord did what Moses asked. The flies left Pharaoh and his officials and his people. Not a fly remained. But this time also Pharaoh hardened his heart and would not let the people go. That's it guys. That's chapter 8. Exodus chapter 8. Sorry if I've missed out Exodus chapter 7 and 6. If I have, I'll go over them another time. But that's the scripture. Um, I hope you can take something from it. I um, don't know if it's going to bless you in some way, but at the end of the day, um, you've learned a bit more of the Bible. Um, so that's good. A um, bit of the Old Testament. So, so that's good. I'm gradually working through gradually working through um, the Old Testament and the New Testament simultaneously, going through it um, from start to finish. So I've, I've had a break from Exodus for a bit. I've been doing a lot of Mark, the Gospels, but I'm going to go back to Exodus again soon and do a bit more in there. So, so yeah, um, expect the words to keep coming regularly enough. Um, within reason anyway so yeah um that's it um what else to say um just i've done a bit of my work earlier for about an hour um but the work on the on the 
on the platform I use. Um, it said I've done an hour and a half, so so yeah, I've done an hour's work, but I managed to do an hour and a half by their standards, so it's not too bad. I'm going to do another hour and a half shortly. Um, so I want to do three hours every day, um, at least by their standards, you know what I mean? So, because um, that's that's pretty much what you need to do to stay up to date on this course. Um, three hours every day. Um, well, I say that it's more like two hours, two hours and fifteen minutes every day, because it's a fifteen hour course. So if you think about it, fifteen hours, two hours a day, two, four, six, eight, twelve. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. 14 hours will be 7 days at 2 hours. So you're talking plus... Uh, yeah, 14 hours at 2 hours over 7 days. So... Um, 15 hours, you want to add about 15 minutes, basically. Um, pretty much, anyway. Um, so, two, I think it's about 2 hours and 10 minutes, 2 hours and 5 minutes a day. But I like to do 3 hours because it just keeps me um, it keeps me on target, do you know what I mean? That's why I like to do 3 hours. I like to do a bit more than what the uh, course timetable says. Um, but that's what I'm trying to do now. Um, I'm trying to do two, three hours every day. Um, and that way, even if I have the odd day off, I'm still not too far behind. Um, like I say, um, I, um, I had like seven days off in the beginning of the beginning of the month. I didn't start for like till like the seventh on this on this module and we're supposed to start on the first so but i was seven days behind and now now i'm probably about i don't know about four days behind something like that maybe a little bit more maybe not but i say about four days behind now i am i think so i pulled it back a bit no i'm, I'm less than four what am i talking about um now we're expected to be on sequences and that's the next uh i think we're expected to be on sequences like yesterday or the day before um i think it was the day before yesterday so that was um the 15th so so yeah basically um i'm three days behind three or four days behind basically but um yeah it's not too bad, do you know what I mean? I'm three or four days behind. Um, yeah, I've got time to pull it back. There's a, a bit of time before the assessment, so i got time still. i got time still, so... So, yeah. Um, but I need to work consistently. I need to do my three hours every day. Um, I need to stick to that, so, yeah. That's why I'm going to come off here in a minute. I'm gonna do some more, so another hour and a half. Well, wow. I'm gonna I might have something to eat first or, or get a drink, get a cup of tea maybe. I don't know if I'll eat anything else now. I'm I'm not hungry but I feel like I could eat something, I don't know. I think I've had enough though really. I've had two more kawaii melts today, I've had a load of rebels. Had a bag of crisps in the morning, a big bag of crisps, so so I think I've had enough really to be honest with you. Um but I don't know, I might have a burger. I might have a uh, sausage burger, um like a rustler's one. They're only small like they're only small ones and ones, so I don't know, we'll see. I might have that just to tide me over, just to keep me going. I fed the cat earlier, my little protege, I give him three pouches. So that'll keep him going throughout the night, um, probably. Give him two in the morning, three in the evening. That's why I usually give him five pouches. Um, 
Sometimes I give him more, sometimes I give him six, but I think he gets food from over the road as well, like from one of the houses over the road as well. He's a big cat, so he's not he's not he's not going hungry, that's for sure. He's really put on some he's really put on some weight he has. Um since um since pe people have told me like um like a neighbour told me he used to be quite slim and that and he's um well quite scrawny looks look not not well fed at all like like when he first come to the property or like a long time or a while back um but now now like with the neighbors feeding him some of the other lads feeding him me feeding him me feeding him very often like like i say giving him five five or six pouches a day he's just really eating well um so i say pouches i mean meat and jelly but it's they're only small pouches kind of thing smallish pouches it's not like a tin it's not it's not like a tin light like, so that's why i give him a few um I'll give him a chicken and lamb one in the morning and then like two chicken or two lamb and one one chicken or one lamb in the evening kind of thing um and that seems to do him he seems to be seems to be uh pretty happy and pretty well fed so doing my best to look after him that's for certain doing my best to look after him um Sometimes I let him go a bit of bit of time without food, but the fact that he's fed so often and some of the other lads feed him food sometimes and um like I say, um I think one of the neighbours over the road probably feeds him as well. So so yeah, he's doing alright, he's he's okay, he's blessed. So yeah. But yeah guys, it's all I wanna say for now. I'm not gonna keep it going any much longer because it's a long video, 17 minutes, and I realise people don't like watching really long videos. I know I don't, I lose my concentration. So, yeah, that's all I want to say for now, guys. Just a quick catch up with you guys and quick words. So, that's it. So, take care, guys. God bless. Much love. I'll be back soon. Take care, guys. Love you all.